Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you a trick. Um, well this isn't necessarily a trick, but this is a JavaScript tutorial. It's easy. Uh, don't freak out f about it. Let me just, okay good, it's recording. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use what's called the DOM inspector for Firefox, and if you don't know the controls for it, which I don't, it's Control shift i but we're going to open it up anyway. I'm going to show you today how awesome this thing is. You can call this makeshift hacking, but it's not actually hacking. Um, Alright, so I'm going to show you today how awesome this thing is, though. Uh, oops. Alright, so I'm going to show you this thing, how to use it. What the DOM inspector is, is it's basically, um, JavaScript, right? All these little DOM nodes that are on this website can be edited and it will do something in real time. And I'll show you what I mean. Alright. You see this right here? I'm now where the, I'm going to show you what happens. We're going to click down on this box. And as you can see, there's text to it. Well... Try. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you what happened. You can edit the text here, and I'll explain how I just did this. So try a crappier and okay. There you go. Now I'm gonna explain how that works. What I just did was I went and I searched for the DOM node, and how I did it was you hit this little button. Find a node to inspect by clicking on it. Click on anywhere on this screen. Anywhere. Even the links, the pictures, anything, and you will find a node for it. In this case, we're going to search for the Google search button. Watch what's going to happen now. Watch how cool this is. Now, after you've found that, you can see the variable for it, which means what the button says. In this case, since we can see value equals Google search and it matches that, we're going to hit edit and we're going to say Google find stuff. Okay. And there you go. You just change that. This isn't permanent, but now what you do, what happens is, um, Basically, you've just edited and you've just edited what that says, and I'm gonna show you now something even cooler. All right. So now that you've just done that, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. You click this little button up by the binoculars. Now, say we want to change this picture, and this is I opened a picture of a T-Rex for a reason. Click on the Google, and it's gonna come down here to IMG logo. Now, SRC. This right here is exactly what we want to do, is what we want to use. We're going to copy this link. This we're going to copy this up here. This will work for uh, most cases. Now, because it says SRC and then you can see like right here logo.gif. Okay. If it has like a picture file like a .gif, .jpg, yeah, it's going to work. We're going to paste that one. And look at that. Now say no, you don't want that. Um. Uh, say we want. Hey, mom was I looking there? Say we want a picture of this one. What we're gonna do? No, we don't want to save it. All right, then we'll find a different one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, now copy the link again. Go here. Go to Google, you go back to the SRC, you hit you right click and you hit edit, copy that link, and there you go, you change the picture. Now watch. Say we want to make it bigger or smaller, we would want to click over here on the width and we can edit this, so we'll make it maybe three hundred by and then the edit three hundred by three hundred. And there you go, now you made it even bigger. And as you can see, my little joke thing there. Alright. 
My little joke there just worked out. Hang on. Okay. So now the little joke there worked out, and because now you just did this, you've edited the website. Now how do you fix this? Now how the hell do you fix this? Because you totally screwed this up. One magic button. F5. And, oh my god, it's back together. Now the power of dot. Now I'm going to show you, I don't know how much time I have on here, so I'm going to make this quick. Alright, what we're going to do, now say we want to click, now say we want to make this I'm feeling lucky button go somewhere else, then do what it wants to do. So, we're going to click that button, we're going to hit that again. Alright, hang on, let's redo that. Let's go, I'm feeling lucky. And, alright, hang on. Okay. Okay, hang on. Let's pick a different one then. Alright. Okay. So. Reinspect it when you're done. I just figured that out. Okay. There. Now try it again. Hit that. There. Reinspect it when you're done and you won't have that problem. Now it's going to say, I'm feeling lucky. Let's add one. Let's hit, rather than class, well no, rather than type submit, we're going to delete that. We're going to edit. We're going to insert a node name. H. And now, the value, we're going to make it go to this picture now, when you click it. Okay. Watch what's going to happen. Okay, that's going to happen. Not good. Alright, well, never mind, we're not doing that. So, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, it had a little fail there. Um, yeah. But you basically get the point. That's how the DOM inspector works, and that's just why it is purely awesome. So yeah, I don't know how much time, so I gotta cut it here. So yeah, see you later.